Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be going over getting Google AdSense set up on your website. Now we're going to be using WordPress and the WordPress account is going to have the, the Divi theme installed. So to start, let's go with sign up now. Um, now we're not going to go through the entire sign up mode. This is just so you can get a head start or you may already have your AdSense account set up. So you're going to add the URL of your site, your email address, and then a couple of opt-in options and you're going to save and continue. Now I already have this set up on my site but more than likely what it will ask is for you to authorize that you are the owner of this site. So it will ask you to either add a snippet code to the head of the website or some information about where you host and some credentials. Now once you get set up, here's the home screen to Google AdSense. Next you're going to go to ads and then you're going to go to auto ads. And from here, you'll be able to set up the URL settings, and then you could assign settings to each of these ads on how you want them to display, the display types, or you could just checkbox each one. And again, these aren't always permanent. These could be adjusted as they go. Now, when you're ready to set this up, go to click on Setup Auto Ads, and then you will copy the code snippet, and then you will go to your website. All right, so on the website, go to the WordPress dashboard. And on the WordPress dashboard, for me, since I have a Divi theme, I'm going to go to Theme, Theme Options, and then I will go to Integration. And then I've already had this inserted on the head of my site, but um, if you don't have the Divi theme, several other themes do allow you to add code to the head of the website or you could use a plugin to circumvent this. So give it a few minutes but after about 15 to 20 minutes you should start being able to see some type of traffic on these sites either self-tested or just from um, your own traffic. You can see page views by URL and you could generate different report types but that's not what this YouTube video is for. But with all that said you should now have your AdSense code added to your website so you can start generating some revenue. Thanks guys.